Welcome Taurus and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journeys for week commencing Monday the 27th of September through to Sunday the 3rd of October 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Tauruses let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. With regards to your channeled message um, I received received um, the message that there's a lot of support around you and the person that you are connecting with or who you feel is your twin flame okay um, there's obviously been some sort of something that's gone on between the two of you so I would say that you know this person but what they were giving me in your channeled message is that um, they're a lot more affected than what you realize and um, they do feel as if the two of you will be together again. Um, they do feel quite damaged, so there may be some healing that they need to do. And I feel that you're being guided um, to know that things will balance out. Um, you both definitely have got a soul contract. Um, subconsciously, your souls are fully aware of that. And um, I feel that you do have a choice. You do have a choice to uh, offer something solid. But right now, this week, it, it, it felt as if uh, you're going to be in a very kind of um, retreat, kind of seeking wisdom, seeking guidance, kind of pulling back your energy, thinking quite a lot. OK, Tauruses. So let's have a look and see uh, what your uh, crowning message is and what your reading is going to tell us. But that was your channeled message. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey week commencing Monday, the 27th of September? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Cannot even, cannot even make this up, can I? True love. This love is emotional, physical and unconditional. Do you remember what I said in that channeled message? This person does feel that the two of you will be together again. Um, also as well, I also did say in the channeled message that the two of you have got a soul contract. Um, consciously or consciously, your souls recognise that. They were drawing me, as I was uh, shuffling the cards, um, they were drawing me to the rose here. Um, I feel that there is something that's being... Um, transformed there's a rebirth happening between the two of you all right let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning message to the question how does the twin thank you omg so look at that we've got release and soulmate so release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go and that release that i feel is um that you're being guided to pay attention to tauruses is whatever it is that's gone on between the two of you actually um because this person and you are in separation you're not on the same page i would say that you are not talking you're not together you could be in different locations but i feel a real big separation between the two of you and it's because they feel really, really damaged, like they cannot do this. They can't um, they can't fix what they, what needs to be fixed or they feel some sort of lack in some shape, form or another. It's time for that to be released. So if you and this person, um, the relationship fizzled out or there was an argument or there was a parting, uh, it's time to release that. And it needs to be radically uh, released and surrender, surrender to the true love of this person and the true love uh, you have for them and surrender to the fact that this is your soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts and respects you unconditionally. This is... Um, beautiful in terms of um that deep deep soulmate um that twin flame connection for many of you um if it's not a twin flame it's definitely your ultimate soulmate and i definitely picked that up in the channeled message that there was a soul contract uh so whether or not you resonate it as a twin flame or resonate it as a deep soulmate they are definitely your ultimate soulmate but this is um 
the true love this is the true love and there is something um very very beautiful very very deep with about this connection um tauruses and i do feel that it's going through a rebirth it's going through a transformation but there's something that needs to be released and i feel that that something is whatever it is that has separated the two of you whether or not the, like i said the relationship has fizzled out or the two of you are just not talking for whatever reason okay so let's have a look at your crowning wisdom messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question? How does the twin flip? Thank you. And we've got, wow, look at that. 828, karmic justice will be served for the highest good of all parties involved. So this brown is earth chakra. So this is what's going on in the in the earth plane. Um, so remember I said in the channeled message, I felt that there was a soul contract. When um, I, I got that message, I was I was kind of shown scales or like that justice card. So it's it's karmic justice will be served. Um, so whatever has been. Whatever it is that's angsting the two of you, whatever is blocking this connection of coming together, it could be a karmic debt, okay, that has been, um, that has flowed down from past lifetimes, or it could be something that is um, uh, something to do with the karmic partner that may have hurt the other person or yourself that's created an un unhealed wound, so to speak, that that's what needs to radically get uh, released, um, that needs to be accepted, that needs to be healed. And that justice is going to play out, okay? Um, it does feel like there is a massive, massive rebirth that's happening here. Um, Divine Spirit Universe intervening um, to balance out the scales between the two of you to um, help you both fulfill uh, whatever soul contract that you guys made. I thought there was a card that flipped out, but evidently not. Let's continue that though. But if um, either one of you have been wronged, particularly when it comes to matters of the heart, some sort of trauma or loss or bereavement, um, that justice is going to be ba balanced out. It's But you have to do your part or your person has to do their part um, and release, okay? Release and surrender to the true love and the soulmate connection um, of each other, okay? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you... Well, okay, that flew out. Thank you. Oh, look at that. 1660. Did I not say that I am um, that you're you're you've got a lot of support around you at the moment. So your angels are guiding and assisting you towards your financial freedom. So and this is right at the fruit root root chakra um uh, for you Tauruses. So uh the question I would ask, are you struggling financially or is there some sort of lack that you feel that you are not at the same level financially as the person that you're connecting with or vice versa if that's the case i feel that your uh, spirit team are around you to support you through that um to help you break free and have that financial freedom in some shape form or another something is telling me about the karmic justice so if some of you um have been divorced um and you you know you had you're paying matrimony or uh you lost a lot of money during that divorce it feels as if you're gonna um get some sort of freedom from that in some shape form or another so maybe your ex-spouse uh is going to get married again okay which is going to stop the uh matrimony and if you do have children then maybe you just pay uh maintenance for the children something like that that's just a side note it's not going to be for everybody okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message thank you and final card is nine four five step into your senses as a way of communicating to your twin flame on on an intimate level so uh this is just confirming a this person is your twin flame but also as well um i would say that the two of you really do pick up each other's energies this orange is very much around the sacral chakra so your senses if you can 
whatever is going on in your day-to-day -day life, take some time, uh, Tauruses, to do some meditation or um, take those long walks um, in, in nature um, or, or, or go for a swim in the ocean if you're fortunate to be close to an ocean. But connect or even go swimming, you know, for, you know, I, I mean, I, I love swimming and um, that's, that's, that's kind of my thing, um, you know, particularly when you kind of, you know, go under and pop up and you focus on your breathing, but it, it really is um, very, very peaceful for me. Um, so if, <coughs> if, if um, swimming in the ocean or even swimming in a, in a swimming pool is a way of connecting with yourself because you do have to focus on your breathing um as you take in your breath and appreciate the breath of life and release as you blow out release release what doesn't serve you um i feel that you're being guided to really connect with yourself in order for you to feel the senses because even right from the beginning of this reading it really really felt as though the two of you are very very distant i felt a very large distance um uh, a distance um you, you're not you're not living together you're not together many of you could be in different countries different locations but there's a big difference between uh location physical difference distance between the two of you as you step into your senses as you connect with yourself first and then connect into your senses you will pick up your uh, twin flame you will pick up and i feel that uh, a lot of communication a lot of um rationalizing is what i'm getting um will will be done on the on on the 5d and i know that sounds a bit woo woo um tauruses but um the two of you have got very very special connection and it doesn't matter i mean they could be in bloody mars and you could be in you know on the moon or something you two have that power within you to communicate telepathically trust me when i say that um so uh, i feel that you're being guided to connect with yourself if you are the person that has got something um really deep that is unhealed at the moment uh, radically accept that it's time to let it go and surrender to the beauty of this connection and that also means uh taurus even if this person um, said something or done something um, that wasn't to your taste, okay, um, they do believe that the two of you will be together again, okay, and they are a lot more affected over the separation of the two of you than you realise. From your channeled message, it was very, very clear that you are the person um, that has the choice. You're the one that has a choice whether or not what direction you take with this person right now i do feel that you are in uh, very much that kind of retreat mode at the moment and that's where i feel that you really need to release release what's got you in that uh, retreat um, as you think about making wise decisions what is your next step um, and also whilst you're in that retreat um, to step into your senses, okay? Because you and this person, um, there is a soul contract here. There, there's no doubt in my mind about it. Um, and I do feel that um, at the heart of the matter, that there is something very solid, very grounded, and something that will um, uh, serve, it, it, will, it will run the test of time, okay? Um, but it, it does feel very much, Tauruses, as if, uh, the ball is in your court for some reason, all right? Okay, so Taurus, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, it really does help to push the video out to other Tauruses. And also as well, Taurus, um, if you do choose to subscribe, it will enable you to receive notifications of when I upload new messages, um, but also as well, it does help to support the channel. So thank you in advance, Tauruses. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for um, all of your um, encouragement, your support, donations, uh, Tauruses. It's truly, truly, truly appreciated. And I really hope that you get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Okay. 
let's go ahead and uh, see what your twin flame message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, could you tell me how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey? Week commencing Monday the 27th of September through to Sunday the 3rd of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Taurus, is any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle, which weren't that many, to be honest with you, um, I will call them out in your main reading. I'm just going to put you on pause for one second uh, and I'll be back. OK, sorry about that, Taurus. Is. OK, let's uh, let's get into this. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Wow. Oh, gosh. Uh, Taurus is a uh, soulmate, okay? Whatever's gone on between the two of you, radically release it, okay? Uh, some of you may be involved in a karmic partner. They may also be a soulmate. Your person may be uh, connected uh, with a karmic partner um, and they could be guided or being guided to release that um, in order to come into union with you. Um, but there is something... Um, yeah, they're being guided, I feel, to surrender. That, that karmic soulmate uh, that your person may be involved in, I feel as if they're being guided to release that, okay? Um, and that's something they've got to do. And as they do that, it's like they will surrender to you. So this soulmate card uh, is representative of um, your energy, Tauruses, and also the energy of perhaps a karmic partner, which may be a side note for some of you. But I cannot um, ignore that the soulmate card has come out twice, a reference to your twin flame, okay? I feel, Taurus, as this is your reading, you are the true soulmate of the person that you're connecting with. You are the twin flame. They may, for some of them, for some of you, your person may be involved in a karmic partner um, that they're being guided to release um, in order to come into union with you. All right. And you know what I'm picking up, Taurus, is it almost feels as if... Um, it's like they can't get you out of their energy. Step into your senses. As you, you remember in your channel's message, um, I was picking up that you've retreated or you're in a place of real thinking, um, you know, seeking guidance, wanting to make wise choices because you've got a choice to make. The ball is definitely in your court. But as you, sent, as you step into your senses, Taurus, and um, communicate with your twin flame on that 5D, do you know what you're technically doing? What they're telling me is you are provoking, you're disrupting thought with a karmic partner um, and you're acting as a disruptor. Um, to almost kind of awaken them. Does that, I hope I'm making sense. So if your person is connected um, with a karmic partner and, you know, soulmates uh, come into our life, some are um, uh, light, some are dark, some are karmic, some are uh, help us on our growth. But every encounter has a purpose, has a lesson, has something to bring to us. OK, well, I believe so anyway. I feel that. Um, all of humanity, all the paths um, that we, you know, cross and take. Um, and, you, you know, it, it reminds me a lot of the, the Matrix. There are so many intertwining paths, um, even down to um, smiling at somebody at the grocery store. That has an impact, okay? Um, so in the same way, if your person is involved in a karmic partnership, that's still a soulmate because that karmic partner um, 
has been brought in to teach them something and the lesson that they've got to learn is to release to know when to release and to go on that journey of healing and surrendering uh, to their true twin flame their true soulmate their true love Tauruses which is you okay but how you can help that process along is by connecting into your senses and as per your channeled message that I got that you're almost in this kind of almost like hermit mode is the best way to describe it um as you're in that in that kind of space in that energy connect with your higher self uh, connect with spirit divine universe um, and step into your senses because that's how you can communicate with your um twin flame flame and disrupt thought um disrupt um the connection um with the karmic partner and it could be simply it's time to let go it's time to let go of the karmic partner you've you know you could even almost kind of like how what's the word reason with them um telepathically like think about this why are we in separation? Um, why are you still with this person? Um, why are you still giving to somebody that is, um, you know, n not giving to you or something is missing or whatever it is? But it's almost like you're prompting them. You're provoking thought on that 5D. And I feel genuinely that that will help them release a karmic partner to um, to bring about karmic justice for all parties. Because their karmic partner has their own, you know, soulmate, twin flame, um, that your person by... Um, by staying in that relationship, not releasing, is preventing or blocking their karmic partner from finding their true love, their twin flame. But only uh, you, only you can um, help them on that journey. And as they do, as they do that, as they release a karmic partner, um, I feel that they're going to surrender to you. And, you know, because it does look like this person is proposing, uh, look at what's come out next conclusion so your person um does know okay that uh you do hold the key to their heart uh they have already come to the conclusion that you are the one for them many of you they may want to propose come in uh with an office offer of marriage i don't feel that that is going to be this week it feels like it's more in the future but it almost feels as if what needs to be sorted out is a karmic person in if this is a three party situation <laughs> is what i'm picking up here um and it's it's your person needs to release something and surrender to this connection i feel as if um deep down in their in their soul they do know that the two of you will be together, okay? Um, but right now, whatever it is they're going through with a karmic soulmate that they do need to release and surrender to you because they are have concluded that you do hold the key to their heart um, has damaged them quite a lot. And that is something that what, what perhaps needs healing. And also that is something that I feel that you can help them telepathically, okay? Um, your soulmate loves, accepts, respects you unconditionally. They know that, okay? This card, I love this card because this heart does, and this, it looks like rose petals, reminds me of like wedding confetti. And for it be to be right next to that soulmate card, um, that tells me that this person does see you as marriage material, long-term commitment. Oh my God, look at that. OMG. Look, and those are those the cards that came out um, with this card. So the two of you do want to offer devotion um, towards each other. You do want to give that devotion, um, that love. Um, and I feel that, um, oh, do you know what? I feel quite touched right now. Um, I feel quite, yeah, I feel, anyway, um, I feel that this person wants to give to you, um, you want to give to them, um, I do feel as though um, you're both being guided to follow the light, basically, 
Follow the light because karmic justice will be served. Material world. Do you remember I said here your angels are guiding and assisting you towards financial freedom? If money has um, prevented this connection from coming together, either you felt lack or they or you feel that they they your person felt lack um, in terms of finances, not being at the same level of each other. There's that material world card. Uh, your spirit team are around you to help you break out of that. And finally, we've got communication. The two of you aren't talking at the moment. And that is what is required. But it feels like there's a certain process that needs to go on here. One, this person needs to release their uh, karmic partner so that uh, karmic justice can be served for all parties uh, allowing their karmic partner to go on their journey to find their true uh, soulmate and for them to surrender to the connection with you um uh, the second is um communication um I feel that is coming, uh, that you have the opportunity um, to communicate with this person on the 5D if you cannot do it right now in the 3D. The blue around here is all around the throat chakra. So for many of you, um, I feel that like you're not talking at the moment because you're in that period of reflection, seeking guidance. And remember what I said from your channeled message, the choice is yours. You're at a crossroads is what I'm feeling. OK. Yeah, that karmic justice. This person may feel a certain sense of um, lack when it comes to finances. But I feel that, you know, you may even offer them some help. You may even offer them some help at some point. This is stick. Oh, no. Let's continue. They just showed me the emperor at the bottom of the deck as I caught my eye. Might mean something. Oh, look. And then what comes out? The empress in reverse. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh dear. Okay, so I feel that this person um, does see you as their world, whether you are um, the male or female in this connection, it doesn't matter. Um, but with it in reverse, I feel as if they feel weak. They don't know, um, you know, how you feel. That's why I feel that at some point you've got the choice to communicate and reach out to this person, whether or not it's telepathically or in the 3D. OK, many of you may even use some money to take a trip uh, to go and see this person, um, because I do feel that you are both very much at a distance from each other. But they are uncertain how you are feeling. They feel as if um, a karmic partner or something that they're involved with, with has weakened the connection uh, with the two of you. And you remember I said um, in the channeled message that this person feels quite damaged by the karmic per partner and whatever was said, whatever um, was done in this connection that separated the two of you, um, they, they feel weak. They don't know how you're feeling at the moment. And I don't feel that seeing that emperor um, that caught my eye as I was shuffling the cards and then the empress comes out, uh, that's not a coincidence. So it feels like this person needs to take control of a karmic situation. Um, in order uh, to come together with you. Look at that, they're looking at the detail, looking at the detail of releasing a karmic partner um, to really uh, surrender to the connection with you because I feel that they know that you hold the key to their heart. They feel a, a little bit weak. They don't know how you feel. They do know they need to balance up the scales. Oh my God, do you remember I said in the channeled message they gave me a picture of the scales? And I, I thought it was justice. Well, it could still be justice because the justice card uh, normally has scales. But I, I'm feeling uh, Libra. I'm feeling Libra quite strongly. Either you've got Libra or they've got Libra in their chart. Um, it feels as if they want to balance out the scales. They, they, they know. They know. They could even be looking at details of um, um, the process of marriage. Like looking at... Um, like if you both are in different countries, this is not for all of you, but if you're in different countries, this person may be looking at the law in their country and in your country to see if 
uh, where would be the best place to be married and that that marriage be accepted and recognised in those countries. And that's part of their way of balancing out uh, the connection. And look at that with the seven of um, coins. I feel as if they know that you've put a lot of uh, nurturing. Uh, a lot of nurturing has gone into this connection. And that is what's helped them give the conclusion that you hold the key to their heart. Uh, this person wants to come in and speak the truth. I feel that they are trying to follow the light, but they feel quite damaged at the moment, really affected by what's happened between the two of you. They do want to come in and speak their truth. And I feel that they want to come in and speak their truth uh, quite rapidly. Um, I also feel that this person might be a little bit blunt with their words, very, very cutting. Um, and that may have been one of the catalysts um, factors that kind of kind of triggered you both into separation or just fizzled out the relationship or connection just fizzled out but they do want to speak their truth about offering devotion to you and look at that and with the page of cups here uh, I feel that you want an apology okay or you want to apologize or um, uh, they are coming in with some sort of message to let you know um, that they love you. And it might be something really, really small, um, but I feel that you're gonna reciprocate. You're gonna reciprocate in a small way, some sort of message of love that you do also want to devote to this connection. But right now, just bear with me. Sorry about that, Taurus. So um, right now, I feel as if, um, you may be overanalyzing uh, conversations, maybe confused. It could be you that has money issues or that's preventing you from either um, uh, getting on a plane or getting on a boat or, or traveling to this person. Um, for many of you, you may suspect um, if you are not struggling financially, that this person feels a sense of lack um, when it comes to their finances, because you may be in quite a comfortable, okay-ish position, or that's what they see. Um, I feel as if whatever has been said, um, it feels as if you've picked up this, it's something to do with money, something to do with money. Either this person has worn a bit of a false mask when it comes to money, and it's like you're really overanalyzing, overanalyzing um, what's been said, a bit confused. Um, and I feel that, that that might be revealed to you in some shape, form or another, as, um, as your spirit teams are around you to help either you or this person uh, have that financial freedom, but you're thinking about it a lot. As it's on your side, Tauruses, it could be, it genuinely could be you. You may feel that you are, you have some sort of lack when it comes to finances. And you're in that mental torture about it. And that may be one of the reasons why you shut down. But I do feel that uh, you want a new beginning. You certainly want a new beginning when it comes to your finances. I feel that many of you do want that breakthrough. Um, as a side note, I feel that that's coming. All right. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify? How does the twin flames of Taurus, sun, moon, thank you. Oh, wow, look at that. The sun card in reverse. So I feel with that sun coming in reverse, because there is no communication, uh, lack of communication, uh, I feel as though it almost feels as if um, you're quite sad quite sad that there is no communication um just remember that you can step into your senses um and communicate with your twin flame but i feel that you do want a new beginning it's like you want to initiate communication again because it quite saddens you that you and this person aren't talking and it could be something that you're really really thinking about quite a lot for many of you you may even come in when this person um reaches out um, to say something 
um, you may give them an apology, all right, or you may um, give them some sort of token or message to let them know uh, that you do want to also devote to this connection because you're I feel that you're quite sad you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart but this not talking to one another is actually blocking your happiness and look at this uh, with the five of swords in reverse here so that tells me um, for absolute doubt this is all about communication communication okay um it feels as if uh the five of swords in the right way up would be that the battles um you know poor communication that's all behind you um at this point in time but with it coming in reverse like that it feels as if you um you want some sort of resolution um you want to reunite and and i said that it's like you 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 want this communication to uh pick up you you don't not you don't want to not be talking to this person anymore that's basically it because it really saddens you and you want a new beginning but you also want a new beginning when it comes to your finances because that might be something that's holding you back or you feel lack in some shape or another or you're finances are not where it where you want it to be because you may see this person evidently as an empress so this person's basically got their shit together um and you may feel a certain sense of lack okay but you're really 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 sad that the two of you aren't communicating anymore all right um and that may be you that really pulled back your energy as well um because you just felt that you couldn't level up um, to the material wealth that this person has because here is all about coins and look at the coins on their side literally all of their card nearly all of their cards are coins so I would say that this person is um, in your eyes perhaps quite wealthy but you want a breakthrough you want a breakthrough when it comes to your finances and just know that it is coming but also as well i feel that you're quite sad uh, that the two of you aren't communicating um and you want this situation to be resolved you want to get back into union um you know forgiveness um also this represents uh, forgiveness reuniting um around communication all right let's have a look and see what your twin flame messages are to each other my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me the twin thank you first card out um my mind and heart always comes back to you yeah so this person even though they may not be speaking to you um they they have concluded, okay, that you are the one for them. I feel that they do see you as marriage material. And even though there may be silence, they do want to devote. Um, I feel like their life, their time, and they're trying to follow that light as to the best way um, to release perhaps a karmic partner, um, to surrender to the connection with you. Um, and uh, their mind and heart always comes back to you and again that's why it's really important i feel that your spirit team coming in with that wisdom message to step into your senses um because you can communicate and provoke thought disrupt any kind of karmic connection that they are in at the moment because their heart and mind um can't help but keep coming back to you thank you next message is I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So I feel that that something else is to release a karmic partner or something karmic in their life, something that needs some kind of leveling up, some sort of karmic justice that needs to be served. And that could be something um, to do with a karmic partner, but it also could do with something outside love. You know, they could be going through because we saw the scales here, I saw kind of like uh, the soul contract, like the justice card, um, we've got justice here, they could be going through some kind of legal battle, um, either at work, in the community, something like that, they need to deal with that, 
um, I feel they, they need to deal with that. Um, and so I feel they're letting you know that it's it's kind of not you. It's 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 they've they've got stuff that they need to deal with. All right. But they, they haven't forgotten you. And I do feel that this person um, does see you as marriage material, long term commitment, because there is a real strong. I really got that real strong feeling in the channeled message that this is a strong soul connection. And your message to them, I'm in a much better headspace now. Yeah. OK, so if um, finances was an issue. Um, that prevented you from pursuing or um, you felt lack in some shape, form or another, or you felt that you weren't at the same status as the material wealth as, the, as this person, uh, that's all going to change, I feel, because that financial freedom, that levelling up of what you aspire for yourself, I feel that that's coming, coming into you. Um, the board is going to start rolling this week and it could run through until the end of the year, but it's going to put you in a much better headspace to offer that devotion that I feel that you do want to um, offer. And again, I feel like uh, Taurus is you're trying to follow that light of uh, rebirth, transformation, leveling up. <gasps> oh, my God, we will be together again. This was one of the cards that came out um, in the pre-shuffle uh, Taurus for you. But it was also uh, one of the things that I had picked up from the channeled message um, that this person, you definitely uh, feel this connection. I wasn't sure whether or not it was you or them, but they, I picked up it was them that feels, felt as if uh, the two of you will be together again, because it feels as if they are confident. They've come to the conclusion um, that you are the person that they want to spend their life with. Okay. Um, and what's come up on your side is that I feel that on a soul level, uh, you know that once this communication sorts itself out, once you have that financial freedom, if that has been a bit of a blocker for you to pursue this person, um, your soul is letting them know that we will be together again. So the two of you are mirroring each other. Unbelievable. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Tauruses. If this message does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.